Well, this was this is something I would have had no awareness of because because we didn't have cable in 1989. Uh, I wouldn't so. know it because I was two. And uh, yeah, also that. So first eyes, the new eyes on this apparently. Uh, this was I think this is Bret Hart just getting coming of age of sorts. Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Perfect was still undefeated at the time apparently. Uh, was managed by the genius Lanny Poffo, which was mm. a delight. Uh, who all, apparently was ring announcing Mr. Perfect to the ring and also mm-hmm. announced him as the winner at the end. Um, yeah. So that was fun. Um, Riz, there was a point in this match where uh, Mr. Perfect was, he got hit by Brett and he fell to the ring as he was trying to slide out and did like this spin move. Oh, I was going to mention was, that in my little thing. Okay, it was it, it was if you imagine the the Homer Simpson running in a circle on his side mm-hmm. visual, but a lot smoother and impressive. Yeah, yeah. So so that caught uh, your attention. That that did catch my attention because those two men have done like in that match some of the very intricate parts to make that match look as real as that match can be mm-hmm. on a random night in West Virginia. In Wheeling, West Virginia. I've because been I've been in that arena <laughs> for 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 Naylor's hockey, actually. Yeah. Because I know I, I, like I said and I noted an arena football uh, and a ring of honor show. I, I think about it. Yeah. Sorry. So like I I, I noted about that slide out of the the helicopter slide out of the ring. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've also compared that to Brett's uh, there at the later part of the match. He He's always done this, but just seeing it live, I jumped up out of my chair because I knew exactly what was happening. But when he, when he got reversed into the, into the ring ropes, chest first, he always does that to make it look really real. Mm-hmm. And then uh, there was another part where Mr. Perfect at the very, like, not the very end, like at the one of the uh, later parts of the match for Mr. Perfect, he takes Bret Hart's hair, starts rolling it up in his finger before he just tosses him over. Just to make it that one inch, just just make sure you get that one inch of a of a dick move. <laughs> was that there, wasn't there a point? I can't actually. I feel like it was. It must have been perfect doing this, but he had him in the in a headlock. Gets up on the ropes, like tries to shoot him off. Grabs that the that was Brett. And it's like he grabbed him by the hair and pulled him back into the headlock. Yes, like, no, that was like, Brett. Th- that, that was a smooth move. Like a cocky Bret Hart match in 1987 or 89. Mm-hmm. Like that was fun. Mm-hmm. Like that part, just that air, that moment was fun. Uh, Seeing how he twisted and turned mm-hmm. the rule book, kind mm-hmm. of, sort mm-hmm. of. They were, they were kind of hinting of a. Maybe he's gonna be a heel. He was also probably, he's also probably coming off of Heart Foundation ness, right? That's like, true. He might have been in fa- Heart Foundation still at the time. Now I think about it, he was like this. This is an oddball singles match for him, right? But yeah, you got you got hair pulls. You yeah, got Brett doing a five count, um, and then like he he held he held him. The ref was counting the five. Let go, right back to headlock. Mm-hmm. Like. I, like, ah. uh, on Mr. Perfect, who is undefeated and a heel with Lanny Poffo, genius on the side. Our, our commentators at the time, Tony Schiavone and Lord Alfred Hayes, by the way, because um, I keep mm-hmm. forgetting about Tony Schiavone being a part of WWF like as a whole. Um, I believe it was the fantastic Very, mustache. very highly underrated. Absolutely. Dude. Absolutely. Like, I, I love them. I love them even more than I do Hayes and Monsoon. Yeah, yeah, I can go with that. Because uh, do, during those uh, those tapings, 
if it was monsoon and haze, they rarely they go off the rails. Oh yeah. They they like you can tell they were just doing this just to You can tell this is hour six of their uh uh day yeah. of, of uh post match records. Uh, and by the way, I, I love I love the genius just sliding in a they're they don't know what they're doing in the sound booth. Yeah. You all should be listening to me. It's like oh my god. And commentary is like, he's talking about us up here? What's happening? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it, it's funny. It, well, I mentioned the commentary team because there was a point that, that kind of shocked me where they talked about uh, Brett got a near fall and it was like, that would have been an upset. Yeah. Like when you, when is the last time you heard that would be an upset with Bret Hart winning? <laughs> Probably 1990. Right. Uh, so it, it was, it was really interesting because I, I, I think, I think if you sit down to watch this match and again, I thought it was like 91, 92, you know, was my feeling when I watched it. Um, but then like all those little things like that realize like, Oh no, this is a little earlier. So that, that's kind of fun. Also, um, were you like, I hit the thing, like I hit the chapter thing on, on the network and, and dropped right into the match. And, and then in the middle of it, uh, Roddy Piper pops on Roddy my screen, oh, and, screen and, and, and shocks me. And we're like, Oh, Roddy Piper's here yelling at me about this match and people and them, them punt, pulling each other's hair and stuff. Uh, and then you realize like, um, for some reason, because then, then I watched the final segment. They had Piper. Uh, I Piper guess Piper just in a. He was in a like a rocking chair. chair, office chair somewhere other than McMahon. Or, I'm sorry, Heenan and uh, 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 Monsoon. Monsoon. Uh, I, I, I'm presuming like they needed to be separated for some reason because I think they're. I think I do recall something where like he got in a fight with Heenan on the show or something. Mm-hmm. Um, but. Uh, yeah, that kind of and, that kind of surprised me. And then still with 15 minutes left of that match. And I I did do what you did. I went to the chapter. Mm-hmm. But then I started hitting back a little bit. Oh yeah, I know, wish I I, I, I didn't have to, I didn't have enough time to do that this time. And then I I actually posted in the Slack the the one line that I got out of everything out of out of that whole conversation was Monsoon looking at uh Heenan going, I never saw Mr. Perfect get licked. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, eh, man. Because, of course, they were talking about the Bushwhackers uh, being on, I believe, team. Um, We're Roddy's Rowdies, bro. Roddy's, yeah, Roddy's Rowdies. Yeah. Um, there's a fun segment um, where. Piper is trying to get Heenan to bet on matches and Heenan won't even bet on his own family members matches for some <laughs> reason. Um, seems kind of interesting. I was going to have a lot of fun with that. So, um, no, yeah, those are always, those are always great. Like anytime I got a chance to see the prime time wrestling, I always loved it. Cause I think, I think we did have it locally like late Friday nights or something on like local TV. But, um, I don't know. Was it, was it prime time wrestling a Monday show? Was that, Anybody that was around the area? Dave, you were around in that area. You were. <laughs> well, we didn't have cable. Oh, you didn't have cable either. Okay. I, I didn't. I, I didn't have. We didn't have cable growing up. Now, yeah, now you do. That's November 6th. So let me let me do a quick check here. The let me 12th was, was the original. Sunday because they, they advertised that. So that would have been uh, math. Yeah, that probably would have been Monday that, that, or Sunday. Yeah, it was Monday. That was Monday. It was Monday. Yeah, okay. Anyways. Oh, it, it was fun to kind of flash back on that. Well, wasn't it, wasn't that a syndicated show? I, it was syndicated. I think it was it was first run on USA, but also syndicated. Like we had it on our um, kind of Fox affiliate, yeah. I think, or or ABC affiliate kind of thing at like ten o'clock on Sundays. So even though it's dated November sixth, that may not have necessarily it, aired at no, first well, on November sixth. Yeah, and of course, depending I, on your market, and I don't know what the lead time was on pre tapes for matches at that time too. Um, I, I don't know if you saw Hank Hudson, some of the stuff he shares. He shared a wheeling show that had 12 matches on it. And it was like, it was labeled as uh, for a wrestling challenge and Coliseum video content, right? And that just the card looks insane. And I'd love to see the card that this came from as well, uh, being just down there in uh, West Virginia at the first Niagara Center, maybe. I don't know what it could have been called back then, but. Uh, but that was fun. Uh, uh, Dave, George, do you have any other thoughts about, uh, you know, this era at least of uh, uh, Brett and Mr. Perfect from your recollections? 
it's so weird to watch Brett. Like my vision of like when like when Brett is like Brett as you know him is probably like um, when you like my first memory of that is probably at the end, the next year Survivor Series. Mm-hmm. It's when he's teaming with Dusty Rhodes on you know <sighs> that final stretch he had with Ted DiBiase. That is when I like that's like when I like that's the current like that's when Bret Hart became the Bret Hart that you know every like that everybody started to know and love like mm-hmm. it, so it is weird to go back and you know see him like pre that era at all having singles matches when the animal's not around yeah yeah um it is odd but uh, also they were doing interesting pair ups to sound like where smash was taken on Ted DiBiase at Survivor Series showdown and stuff like that right so yeah it, and uh what well, 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 you mentioned um the brain buster, um, not Aaron Anderson, the other one, totally Blanchard. Uh, totally Blanchard, you know, it, like those guys were like almost exclusively a tag team during that era. Right. Like you never saw them mix it up singles wise. Yeah. So, um, what about you, Dave? Well, yeah, I mean, especially Brett and Mr. Perfect back then. You, I mean, you were going to get a, I mean, uh, this, this without even looking at the homework, you knew, Oh, Brett, Mr. Perfect. Yeah. It's going to be a really good match because there's two really good wrestlers. Mm hmm. And it was uh, going to be a really good wrestler without excessive weirdness. Which, I mean, we're talking late 80s Vince, so yeah, he loved the weird, goofy stuff, but didn't need it. <laughs> it was a competitive match. Bobby of yeah. town in the chat is correcting us. Primetime wrestling was on Tuesdays. That makes sense, because it probably replaced Tuesday Night Titans, didn't it? That was also in USA early on, so mm. that makes that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> 